Welcome to Pop Turnative, where we dive into topical discussions from the worlds of pop culture, social media, and sports. Here is your host, Peter Romoliotis, aka PD Beats. PD Beats here from Pop Turnative, speaking to Logan Allen about season two of Sweet Magnolias, which is dropping Friday, February 4th on Netflix. Welcome back to the show, man. It's so good to see you. Thanks for having me, bro. I really appreciate you bringing me back on, man. It's been too long. Way it's too long. Two years, you said, right? <laughs> two years, bro. Jeez, man. We were little babies, bro. It's crazy. It, fe- it feels like it's been like five to ten years, I feel like, with, with the quarantine and the pandemic. Like, it's... Bro, it's, it's, it's been wild. It's been wild. It's, it's been crazy. I've been following you, too, man, on Instagram and all the interviews you've been doing. You've been killing it, man. Seriously. The oh, I, never stops. With you. Oh, man. I, I appreciate that. You know, the grind is just nonstop. And uh, no, it's just, it's, it's just so much fun. And it's exciting, man, because we're talking about so many amazing shows, like season two of Sweet Magnolia is dropping pretty soon. How does it feel, Calm Before the Storm? Another season's coming out, man. You know, it's it's a little nerve-wracking this time around, because at least with season one, you know, you really kind of didn't know what to expect. You yeah. didn't know what the audience was going to be like. You don't know if the show's going to flop or if it's going to be really popular. This time, we know what it is. <laughs> and during like, the entire time when filming, like, you, you didn't want to disappoint the fans. So it was like a whole other, like, layer of, of just anxiety yep. so like i'm 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 really really excited for friday but a little anxious too just to see everybody's reaction because obviously it left us on a crazy crazy cliffhanger at the end is the global like reception something that kind of stood out like you know like it comes out season one two years ago you kind of have this big social media kind of following that kind of immerses because of Netflix and everything. But like, when does it start hitting you that it's like an unbelievable kind of global fan base where people from all around the world are a fan of the show, Logan? You know, what's interesting is Brazil. I have a bigger fan base there than I do in America. Yeah. It's crazy, bro. It's insane. And I love it. There are some of the most passionate, most loving fans, bro. And I, I remember right after it dropped, it just, it started like that. And I went from like, I had like, what, 3000 followers on Instagram all the way up to, I think I'm at like 40 now, just yep. from that one, you know, that one season and like just the fan reception, it was, it was incredible. And, and seeing everybody from Italy, uh, France, all the, all the European countries, and it, I got some uh, people in, in China, Japan, it's, it's everywhere. And just to see how yeah. everybody received it and loved it so much, like, it's what the show's about too. You know what I mean? It's that family coming together, just, you know, that, that kind of, you know, loving, I guess, wholesome, heartwarming show. And, and so for it to have that, you know, positive impact on so many people, man, it's, it's been crazy. It's been very surreal too. Like, dude, last night I went on Netflix and the first thing I popped up my face, I'm like, Whoa, all right. That's a little weird. <laughs> or like it, it, it's cause I, I, sometimes I forget I'm on Netflix. I know that sounds weird, but like, you'll just be going through Netflix, looking for something to watch and then you'll just pop up. You'd be like, Oh, Okay, oh, there I am. So it's just it, it's it's really weird, dude. It's it's, but I love it though. I, I love all the fans, man. They they're some, I they're family to me, and and I really do appreciate all support. Are you getting? Because you know you've had a chance to work on some pretty cool projects. You know, we we talked last time. You're a big fan of the horror genre, so you worked on Creep Show and everything. And it's interesting because the the life kind of of an actor and a storyteller, Logan, is one of these kind of lives where like you're going, you're working on the craft, and you're shooting the shows and everything. But then there's kind of of like what we're doing now the like promoting and the marketing and everything but obviously there's like these ebbs and flows of kind of hype right because you go and you shoot a season of sweet magnolias you're not sure when it's going to come out and everything but then you know all of a sudden it's like boom you know you're doing press it's coming out there's going to be a big social media bump how can you prepare yourself can you even prepare yourself for kind of those ebbs and flows in the entertainment industry you know what i'm talking about like that yeah, um, it's funny you bring that up because, like, I mean, it's it, it moves so fast too. Um, it's like especially this is really relevant to right now. We it feels like we shot this yesterday, but it's been what eight months now, nine yeah. months since we shot it. So it, it's it's so fast. It's really really quick, uh, fast moving industry for sure. Um, I mean, yeah, it, it just it, there's not a lot to say about it. It's pretty much it. It's, just, it's so fast, and you you definitely do have to kind of ground yourself and kind of get back to it. Another thing is, is also since we filmed it so long yeah. ago, it's, you have to remember everything that happened. You know what I mean? And kind of <laughs> you can talk about it and ask questions. You can be like, Oh wait, uh, hold up. What? So like, it, it's, it's really weird because uh, usually to be honest, if I could, I, I probably would only watch my stuff once, but 
when I right before I started doing press for season two, I have to go and re, you know rewatch season one again so I can kind of refresh my mind. Yeah, it's and get true. back on the Magnolia's thing because people are going to start asking me questions about certain things, and I, I'm not going to remember. Well, it ended know, on such a cliffhanger, so that whole like the last two episodes, I feel like so spe specifically like the last two episodes of season one, I feel like you kind of have to go back because they're definitely going to reference some some things in that of those last two episodes. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a uh, oh, hundred percent, hundred percent. Yeah, it, it causes a lot of stuff for sure. Um, yeah, that, I, I'm just gonna shut up. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, so we're talking about Sweet Magnolias, which is a Netflix show, but there's another Netflix show we have to talk about, right? <laughs> oh yeah, hundred percent, man. Um, go ahead, go for it, dude. It was so cool to see you in in the season four teaser for Stranger Things. <laughs> yeah, it, dude. It, it, for me, it was crazy. So I'll, I'll tell you about. I'll tell you something. Yeah. I got that role two, two and a half years ago. Yep, it's crazy, man. I, I got a role a long, long time ago. Before, actually, right before we did our uh, our interview the first time around. Oh, nice. And uh, it was before Sweet Magnolias dropped and everything. Um, and then COVID hit, and then it screwed up filming for you know whatever five or eight months yep. and then the whole schedule got flipped so i was supposed to film pretty quickly and then covid hit my i was one of the last things to film for the entire season for season four of stranger things i was there on the wrap day i'm not even joking i was there on the wrap day for the show so wow. being able to kind of share that with the people that's all i'm gonna say it was it was really really cool and uh this the i'm a huge stranger things fan like oh, yeah. you know everybody else in the world arguably so, one of the biggest you know, shows on the it's probably the what can make an argument it's like the biggest show on the planet 100 percent. yeah probably <laughs> dude it definitely is 100 percent. so being like it was it was definitely like it's kind of intimidating too going on a set that big. i mean sweet magnolias is obviously a, you know a, a huge show but but that's totally different it, it made sweet magnolias look like an indie film you know what i mean just because it was it's insane man we uh we uh we shot in a bunch of crazy locations and and uh, got to work with some great people. Got to work with the Duffer Brothers, man. Yeah. And they're just some of the coolest. Just, mo uh, they're they're so talented too. And, oh, yeah. and and with what they do. And one thing I love about doing so many different projects and so many different genres is to see every director's vision because everybody usually has a different approach to each scene, how they film it, what steps they go through. The rehearsal was totally different than what I'm used to. So. Yep. It's always kind of good to get out of your comfort zone and to explore those different types of techniques because you know you're going to come across them again, some maybe you know sometime in your career. So it's always good to expand, and and that also really you know helps you become a better actor as well. So it was man, it, it was great, and uh, yeah, the, I really can't wait, dude. A funny thing too is is I didn't even know I was going to be in the trailer at all, and I even to this day I I cannot say the name of my character just because they haven't said I, I could. Yeah, but fans have been. I'll try to figure it out. Well, you said, you know, you follow, right like a lot of people follow Pop Turn of an Instagram and we're kind of doing, we're, 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 we're pretty blowing up right now on our Instagram because we keep doing like memes and like, I got, we got to make a meme with your smile, like in the classroom, oh, yeah. there's got to be some oh, kind yeah. of, we got to make a meme with that. We have to. <laughs> oh, dude, well, I'll tell you right now, when the show drops, there's going to be a lot of memeable moments for sure. You're, you're, you're going to go off, bro. But no, seriously, hundred percent, man. Yeah. You you can take a lot of fun stuff from that but uh but yeah it, dude that 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 whole show bro it was it was a blast and, and i literally and, it's and funny be because it on. happens it's fast too right like it's quick like people went and like they screen grabbed it i knew it was you right away i'm like Mom and, Alan. <laughs> and, and like i said and i i didn't even know i was going to be in the trailer they didn't tell me anything so i watched it and i'm like wait <laughs> that, that that's me all right that what so at that point I, they didn't tell me if i could say anything either if that was even though it was obviously me so like it was a weird couple of days where like we were waiting for the the Netflix PR team to get back with us because I didn't want to say anything and get in trouble. <laughs> and to this day, I still can't say the name of my character just because it, it's known, but I still can't say it just because I don't want to, you know. Patience like, is a virtue, man. There. We'll wait. We've been waiting for season yeah. four forever, so I feel like we can wait a little longer. <laughs> <laughs> just a little, a little bit, man. And I'll, I'll tell you something right now too. I think season four is a great season. I'll, I'll say that. I, I think. I'm I, listen. I love my TV shows, and I'm very critical of my favorite TV shows. And Stranger Things is right up there, my top. You were just begging for like say, the comment. You're just begging for like the comment section of this interview to be like, yeah, yeah, uh, I want oh, it now. Right, 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 <laughs> views are really gonna go up after this. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll tell you this, man. Season four, I think it it, it does. It, it just everything's bigger, crazier. <sighs> 
and it's it's so much fun. I kind of have and, chills, and you're gonna, like you're, you're talking about. But... I kind of have chills because that show is just—it's been such a long time since we've had a new season of that show. <laughs> Three years, bro. 2019, dude. And, and but like I said, bro, they delivered, and and just to see the passion on set too. It's not just the Duffer Brothers and the the, the cast; it's the crew. Yep. The people that are behind the cameras, man, they love this show to death. It's like their kid. And a lot of them have been there since season one. So, like, just to see their how passionate they are about what they're working on, it's just it's unbelievable. And and I really can't wait for everybody to see it. It's amazing. Last great. time you came on the show is like one of my favorite interviews that we've done because we just geeked out of a horror movies for like fifteen minutes. You remember that? <laughs> oh, dude, no, dude, you, yeah, you're incredible, bro. You were one of the the the, the best shows I've I've done. And uh, yeah, dude, I'm still the the same horror geek to this day, bro. I'm, I'm telling you, you got. I mean, Halloween Kills, you know, you got the new Texas Chainsaw Massacre on Netflix, Netflix in a few weeks yep. as well. It's, it's crazy, bro. They're, they're going pretty wild right now. I'm, Is I'm, it I'm cool? Excited. I think I asked you this because Creep Show got brought up. And man, I love your episode of Creep Show. Like that, that, that's a good, like, I'm not, I'm, I swear, I promise I'm not just saying this, but like, you, yeah, that's yeah, one no, of yeah. my favorite Creep Show episodes. I swear, I'm not just saying that. But like, is it cool to be able to look at like, you mentioned a little bit like being kind of diverse and everything. Like you go work like Sweet Magnolias, but then you can just kind of like in a flip of a switch get into the world of creep show, get into the horror world. Like I feel like that's one of the coolest things about being a storyteller, basically. Dude, I love it, man. And and yep. I shot season two of Sweet Magnolias. Yep. I don't we shot for like four and a half months. And I had like two weeks off and I went right out to shoot Stranger Things. So I went from being like the nice, you know, easygoing kid with Kyle. Right, the super sensitive, you know, wholesome kid to playing full on bully for Stranger Things in a matter of two weeks. So it was like, man, that whole experience was was insane. And to be able to like to just flip flop like that, it was it was really difficult. And I I mean, I just that makes me respect all these big actors and actresses who film one movie after another constantly. And it's like I don't know how you how you do such a good job with all these different characters that have totally different personas. You know what I mean? And you kill each and every one. And it's it's unbelievable, man. So like it was it was super hard, but but man, was it, it was a blast. And, and I love playing different characters and and you know, kind of expanding and doing different things. And and creep show and stranger things are definitely those two outliers way out there that I usually don't play. So it, it's interesting to kind of you see know, that like I said, me. like you came on the show last time, you book Stranger Things. I mean now it's going to kind of be like we do this interview, it's going to be out. And then the next time you come on the show, we're going to be talking about like a big horror movie that you probably book now. You can't even tell me. <laughs> Friday 13th? No. <laughs> no, bro. It's, it's, it's wild, bro. I hope so, man. I hope so. And and like I said, what's cool too about doing, you know, different characters and different kind of characters mm -hmm. is that then it really opens up, you know, you as an actor. Because yep. then casting directors and all these directors will say, hey, he can play this, you know, total dick. You know what I mean? Yeah. But you can also play a really nice, lovable kid. So, you know, that's really going to, it's really going to have some diversity when it comes to your, you know, resume. So it, it's always great. But yeah, dude, just hopefully we keep, we keep banging these out, man. We'll see. Absolutely. When people get a chance to see season two of Sweet Magnolias on Netflix, what are you hoping they get out of it takeaway wise for this season? Man, um, I, I hope they, they take away a lot of the stuff they took away with season one. Yeah. Um, how we really just how important family as a community really is. Yep. And, and we really, really need that now. And I, I know we, I know I said last time we needed it more than ever, but we really need it now. We need it, You know, everything's starting to go back to normal and we're going to start separating from our families and our friends again. Right. We got so close under the pandemic, right? Yep. We were, we were quarantined with everybody. We became really close again. It was great for us. And now since life's starting to go forward again and, and starting to move, we need to kind of really keep those friendships and, and, and you know, the, those relationships really tight because that's super important. So I really hope that this opens a lot of people's eyes again. Yep. Um, and also uh, really hope it, it you know, it, uh, it relieves a lot of people in, in a lot of different ways. I'm just going to say that there's uh there's a lot of new characters, new relationships, you know, things that people want to see things that people don't want to see. Um, it's, it's, it's going to be really fun, man. But really the main thing I hope they take away is just how important community family and friends is. Absolutely. Logan, it was a pleasure having you back on the show, man. Thank you so much for chatting. Seriously. hundred percent, bro. Thank you. For, and, 
Next time you let me know, bro, I'll pop right on for you, bro. Oh, yeah. absolutely. Great, great show. Seriously. Yeah, no, I appreciate that. So yeah, season uh, two, uh, February 4th on Netflix. And uh, people can follow you, right? Instagram is like the main main place where they can follow Instagram, you. Instagram, yeah, it's Logan Allen. I'm a little bit on uh, Twitter. Uh, it's Logan Allen. I think I'm on there too. And then TikTok, you just look up Logan Allen, try to find me. I think it's it might be it's Logan Allen. I, don't, I, I try to make it easy, but my usernames are all crazy. So you can try to find me there. I'm going to start posting a little bit on there. I'm also going to start a YouTube channel soon. Nice. Um, and do everything from acting related, you know, talks to uh, pretty much movie reviews, all kinds of stuff. So I'm excited to jump into that too. Oh, awesome. That's, I can't wait for that. That's going to be great. Um, yeah, man. People can look up for that. This has been Pop Turnip, youtube.com slash Pop Turnip for previous episodes. You're going to be able to catch Logan Allen in season two of Sweet Magnolias dropping February 4th worldwide on Netflix. Until next time, this is Logan Allen and Petey Beats signing off. Thank you for tuning in to Pop Turnip. Make sure to check out our past episodes of Pop Turnative on YouTube. Be sure to like Pop Turnative on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. This has been an Autograph Communications production.